Here I am on the Minecraft Education homepage and I'm going to show you how to buy a license. So you go to how to buy here. If you scroll down a tiny bit you can see there's different options here. Now if you're a part of uh, an educational institution, organisation, you would be able to get support from your organisation, your educational organisation to purchase licences via this route, classrooms and schools. But this training, this course is for people who are, might be therapists, might be parents, might be homeschoolers. And so here is the option that you need. It's camps, clubs and organisations here. So we scroll down a little bit and you can see buy now. If you click on there. takes you to where you can get started buying a Minecraft education for commercial. Don't be put off by the for commercial element. If you're a parent, if you're a homeschooler, if you're a therapist in private practice, for example, you are able to buy this license, these licenses. So here you can see it says enter your work or school email address. We'll check if you need to create a new account for Minecraft Education for Commercial. Now you don't need a work or school email address. You can just put in um, your email address and email address that you want to use here. So I'm just going to put in one that I um, have made for this demonstration. And I'm going to click next. Now it says, looks like you need to create a new account. So let's get you started. Yeah, so I'm going to um, set up the account. Here it's asking you to put in a range of information. Don't worry about this bit, company name, just put in your name and choose your company size as one person if you like. Next up, they're asking you to tell them a bit more information about yourself um, to verify um, that it's you. You can ask for a text or a call and put your number in there and press um, send verification code. And now we've got to the how you'll sign in part. Um, it says this username is what we'll use to sign in each time you use your apps. The domain name is a, is a suggestion. You can change your domain now or later at any time with your own custom domain. So um, my top tip here is to keep it as short as possible, this whole thing, the username and the domain name, because you are going to be typing this in manually a lot because of the way the, the Microsoft logins work. You, you can't, auto you don't seem to be able to automatically um, generate the information in, in, the, in the boxes. So to keep it short and simple. So I might just keep it as this if it lets me. No, nope, that's why it's given me some numbers, so I'll just put in those. There we go, that's worked. So then I come up with my own password. Make sure you make an exact note of these details right now. Your username, domain name, that whole um, address really that you're creating there and your password. You, it's really important that you don't lose these. And now we're being asked um, how many licenses we want. Select the number of licenses, choose the number of licenses you need for your business and select update to see your new subtitles. So um, for now, I'm just going to buy one. And then I'm going to press update. Here we go. That's £9.84. And then it's going to be asking me to add a payment method. So here it wants you to put all your payment information in. Next you're at the review and confirm page, given a summary of how much you're paying and um, the privacy notices and the agreement to read through before you place your order. Here we are, confirmation details. It's confirming um, the username to sign in with is there. You can save or print this, that's really helpful. 
and you can press on start using education for commercial. It's also pointing out there in the admin center you can inst you can do various things um, including managing your subscription payment and billing details. It takes you to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and the next step is to add in some sign-in security methods. It's really important to do this so you don't get locked out of your account. So I'll see you there.